going on guys? Today I'm going to do a toolbox tour of my uh, 72 inch US General toolbox. Uh, I'm an independent shop so I have a lot of random stuff in here. Um, all kinds of different brands. A uh, little bit of everything. Work on a lot of stuff. We'll start with the uh, main socket drawer. I got uh, standard on the left hand side and metric on the right hand side uh, half inch chrome impacts uh, three eighths chrome impacts quarter inchers mix of brands a lot of husky harbor freight olsa tools tecton craftsman some snap-on matco all kind of different brands in here um, impact swivels half inch uh, three eighths the shallow and deeps some chrome um, universal sockets, uh, mid-length snap-on metrics, uh, the metric swivels, same thing, and the metric side, same thing. Uh, some of the most used ratchets, so Williams flex head, use a Cobalt USA half incher, couple three eighths, quarter incher. Um, back here, you got breaker bars, speed wrenches, the big Matco breaker bar ratcheting. Um, half incher things awesome uh, that's the main socket drawer there guess we'll just go with the socket drawers second socket drawer is kind of the bigger stuff some of the specialty stuff too so over here standard again metric on the right we got a uh, crow's feet uh, the full set of like qu uh, quarter inch sockets so like up to 30 seconds and 60 force a little bit more of a full set uh, 12 point stuff, shallow deep, half inch. Some bigger sockets, some older USA made uh, like collectible sockets from like the 40s and 50s, um, but they're also my deep 12 points. Uh, some three quarter drive stuff, uh, some axle nut stuff, um, big rounded head ones, some the biggest sockets, uh, two and a half inch. I do not use those a lot, obviously. Uh, universal spline sockets are great for like uh, turbo bolts that are uh, kind of rounded off. You can hammer them on. Filter sockets, uh, big crow's foot. Uh, cam or a crankshaft socket for a small box Chevy and uh, I believe a big box Chevy. The uh, standard side, also the uh, axle lock nut sockets, a bunch of various ones. O2 sensor, three quarter drive, half inch drive. 12 points, crow's foot, stuff like that. Adapters, some spare torque sockets, spare uh, eight point sockets, a couple universals, big adapters, spark plug sockets, stuff like that. There's a special one, it's for uh, the exhaust manifold uh, tightening, or exhaust manifold, uh, the heat shrink stuff you put around it. It's the socket to tighten down the housing for that. This drawer is uh, the last socket drawer. We got Allen's. Um, these are the RBRTs from Mac, the master set, metric and standard. Uh, Torx Plus for uh, like transmission work. Using a few other stuff too. Uh, Impact, Allen's, metric, standard, Torx's. Uh, these are uh, wheel lug socket set. Um, pr pretty much every single size of these unless it's something really, really weird. Uh, Allen wrenches, Torx wrenches, some deep Allens, uh, more of the most commonly used Allen stuff, some E-Torx, deep shallow, um, spare thing of Allen wrenches in case I want to make a special tool, some really shallow Allens. That's the Allen stuff. Uh, let's move down to the wrenches. This is the metric drawer. Once again with the wrenches, I got a mix of brands here. I got a lot of um, Husky stuff, Matco, Steel Vision is actually one of my favorite brands. It's a local farm and supply store that houses them and they warranty them. Uh, missing my 15 right now. Uh, I got ratcheting wrenches. Uh, most of these are Husky or Matco. Um, the full set of those, I got a full set up to 20 or 32 mil, down to eight. Um, once again, mixed Matco and Steel Vision stuff. Some offset wrenches, uh, S wrenches. These are some six point uh, 
combination wrenches. This that 10 millimeter gets used a lot. The uh, standard drawer, same thing, makes a brand. This one's got a little bit more uh, nicer, older USA stuff that I collected over the years. This is a full set, I um, believe up to inch and seven eighths, or inch and six, yeah, maybe inch and seven eighths, inch and a half, possibly. Uh, offsets, standard set, uh, ratcheting set, some weird, odd ones, uh, six point. Cut off one for a special job. Um, some special wrenches, some flex head ratcheting, some thin wrenches, midget ignition wrenches. Uh, these are pretty cool. They're like the uh, closed end wrenches. I don't use them all that often, but they're kind of nice. Uh, stubbies, normal and ratcheting, and then flare nuts, standard and metric. go pliers big pliers big snap rings for transmission work and some uh, axle nut stuff uh, hose clamp pliers hose pliers uh, nip X's channel lock stuff needle nose got pretty much every single brand on the planet inside here I got Klein snap on uh, cobalt Pittsburgh channel lock uh, you know, all the different stuff in here. Down here, hammers, punches, chisels, pry bars, some body hammer stuff. Just the normal hammer and beat stuff to draw with. Nothing crazy there. Uh, move back up here. We got the uh, special drawer. This drawer gets used a lot. All kinds of random stuff in here. Fuel line disconnect stuff. Um... The, for the press, uh, for uh, bearings, the bearing set, uh, vacuum pump, max strut compressor. Um, I've broke a few of the cheap ones. I went and bought a nice, uh, I think it, Lyle makes it, but it's max version of it. Uh, pickle fork, the Ford's uh, fan clutch tool, both the size wrenches in there. Ball joint separator, the best oil filter wrench on the planet. Um, the expandable one, O2 sensor, uh, a few brake drum, spring tools, uh, Mac gear puller, a uh, definitely a snap-on gear puller. It's a uh, pretty sure it's a Harbor Freight flywheel turner, brake expander, brake pad expander, or brake caliper expander. Sorry, another one of those. Uh, another some more uh, e-brake tools, exhaust expander, really crappy bolt breaker. And the uh, torsion bar key tool. Uh, up here, polar sets. Uh, the master harmonic balancer polar set and installer set. It's got all the random bolts in there. Um, I honestly don't remember the brand of this thing. It's I've had it for a long time. It works just fine. Uh, this is the uh, power steering and pump installer and remover set. Got a chain wrench, pipe wrench. Um, Spud wrench in here, a uh, few adjustable wrenches, all my magnet magnetic pickup things and grabbers are in here. Some actual strap wrenches, those come in handy for big pulleys and stuff that I can't spin. Uh, over here is uh, specialty pliers, so like some of like the welding stuff in here, some clamps. This is a uh, for like SO cord for wire um, to take the sheathing off. Cowboy clamps, it's a zip tie plier, insulated pliers. This is uh, gasket scrapers. I uh, really like the uh, Hyper Tough from Walmart. Uh, Will D makes it, I believe. Uh, it works pretty good. A few different uh, putty knives, stuff like that. Files, metal, wood, mini stuff, a uh, brush. I got more brushes over on the parts washer over here, but. This is a quarter inch bits and drill bits, uh, taps, the mini tap, like the drill taps, a few different drill bit sets, uh, the security bits, and uh, uh, a lot of people talk crap, but I have never broken a Harbor Freight tap before. I just don't use them with a drill, do them by hand, and I've never broken a tap. I've broken a lot of USA made taps before, but I've never broken one of those, so 
staying with them. Pass through sockets. Uh, it's just a craftsman set I've had a really long time. When I need it, it's a really cool tool. Uh, measurement stuff and uh, clamps. This is a normal tape measure. This is a metric tape measure. In case you're doing something in metric, you don't have to convert it. It's kind of nice. It's got metric on the bottom. Uh, infrared thermometer levels. Tire pressure gauge. Uh, brake flaring stuff. This is some of the stuff for it. Got cutters. Uh, this is one of those pull pullers you pull out. It's really for like PVC, but it works okay if you have to cut something like a hose or something you can't get to. Uh, airline cutter for doing airbags. Benders, the both different types, uh, the one-shot style ones, the plier style, and then the normal bendy ones. Uh, these are just normal double flare ones. This is an old, really old set that works great. Um, flaring tool, and then another inside flaring tool. Gear pullers. Um, I have the cheap Harbor Freight ones because I like them. They're cheap, and I can get them warrantied. Um, I don't put an impact on them, and I don't break them all that often. It's only when other people use them that they end up breaking. So I stick with those. I got a few other extras, as you can see, and I make it work. Uh, there's some two jaws in here, too. Uh, it works just fine for me. Uh, let's go over here. Screwdrivers. Random assortment of screwdrivers. I have a lot on the wall back here at the shop. Um on the wall too so a lot of stuff gets thrown around but most of it is uh the good stuff's in here and i throw it on my uh card over there but picks and panel tools this is the best panel tool ever uh some normal long ones the matco hose pliers you can shove underneath there's a 91 and a straight one to take off those rusty uh, like water coolant hoses um, picks, different brands, all kinds of different stuff. The gear wrench ones are pretty nice. Or the performance tool. I forget what brand these are. It wore off a long time ago. Uh, nut drivers, it really doesn't get used that much. It's just kind of a, a, when you use them for hose clamps, really just the, right here, 5 sixteenths gets used the most. But some Allen T handles. Uh, down here, some box tools. I got a hole saw kit. Uh, a rivet kit, aluminum rivet kit. This is a, uh, this is the most cool brake flaring kit. The big brake flare. This one's pretty sweet. I won't open it, but it's one of the ones you put inside the vise. And it does uh, metric, bubbles, all the different flaring tools, different sizes. It works phenomenal. This is a uh, plus nut and a, uh, uh, rivet center so plus nuts and uh, rib nuts and this is a rotary tool uh, like a dremel type of thing with some bits in it uh, over here uh, ratchets the extra stuff I'm really I have a lot of ratchets I really don't have a lot of name brand stuff I don't have a problem with the cheaper stuff I got gear wrench 120 I think it's this one that one's okay uh, I like the Harbor Freight stuff that's warrantied uh, the Titan stuff's okay. The gears do break in them, but they have a nice feel because they're aluminum. Uh, the Matco quarter inch, uh, really long quarter inch on this flex head. This thing's pretty sweet. And then my favorite ratchet's the, uh, the long Pittsburgh flex head one. Doesn't fit in a lot of places, but I, I like using it the best. Uh, I got an old SK one. I like this one. I've had it a long time. Quarter inch ones, little, uh, Pivot head quarter 20 or quarter inch uh, Titan ones, pretty sweet. And then some flex head ones. Uh, extensions, pretty self explanatory. Three eighths, half inch, quarter inch. Uh, there's a lot more on the cart. There's some more all over the place to those. Uh, this is the really bad day drawers, the extractors. Got a few different sets. Bolt extractors, the ones you put inside of a wrench, they do not work that great, but it's a last resort. Spirals, some more spirals. Uh, performance tool ones work better than the Irwin Hansen ones. Most people don't agree with me on that, but I don't like the Irwin Hansen ones. The gear wrench bolt extractors, speed outs, they suck. 
Uh, these are internal pipe thread removers, so if you're trying to take something out of inside of a pipe, um, they work kind of sometimes. Uh, this is for like working on older uh, vehicles with the body panels. It's the impact screwdriver. Works great for like interior panels and like 60s and 70s Chevys. Uh, electrical stuff. This is more like engine diagnostic stuff now. Uh, some like alignment tools, some trans custom transmission repair stuff, dual meter, uh, timing light, some gauges, uh, spark testers, the spark plug tool, the crimp spark plugs when you're doing custom stuff. Uh, got measurements for engines, a squ square, some calipers, micrometers, feeler gauges, uh, you always need a notepad when you're doing that, when you're checking engine measurements, you can write it down. I am missing some engine stuff, a friend's borrowing some stuff right now, but uh, dial indicator, the magnetic base, uh, dial bore indicator with all the different size adjustments, uh, some plastic gauge, different, they usually don't keep a lot of it on hand. Uh, in here, I'm missing my uh, Mac piston ring expanders that usually go right here. A uh, friend has them. Really cheap uh, overhead valve spring compressor. Uh, I try not to do those unless I have to. Uh, this is a oil pump primer for a small block Chevy. Uh, installer for an LS for the uh, harmonic balancer. The actual bolt to install it, not just hitting it down with an impact. Special carburetor screwdrivers for all the different brands. Uh, the LT, the LS and LT valve spring compressor, and then a, the custom oil pump holder. I didn't buy the tool, I just made it out of plastic and drilled some holes so it lines the oil pump back up on the LT engines. And some of the rest of the uh, engine tools. Piston ring filer usually goes here, friend has it. Um, ring ex ring uh, compressor, woodruff key set, some hones, big and small. Uh, one of the more expensive uh, Valve spring compressors for the bigger, more expensive ones on the small block Chevys. And a piston hammer, the mallet. Uh, down below, that's one of my uh, camshaft uh, removers and install camshaft bearing remover installers. It's the universal one. The uh, other one's hanging up here on the wall. Um, it's the That's just for small block Chevys. The other one's universal. This is the cart. I'll go over that in another video. It's the for diagnostics and stuff. Uh, up top, torque wrenches. Uh, mix of brands. Some Proto. It's got some dial ones. I kind of like these on engines every once in a while. Uh, one of the another different style. A few different brands. Some digital Husky. Uh, this is the one I use for wheels. It's a bigger half inch Husky, up to 250. And this is the big uh, Mac digital. Uh, electronic one that's the one for i do for engines and most torquing situations proto quarter inch screwdriver and a cheaper quarter inch one i really don't care about the quarter inch torques as much i just buy a cheaper torque wrench uh timing wheel for getting camshafts uh dialed in when you're building engines some uh t-handle allens this is just random stuff knives scissors magnets uh that's a mirror. Uh, some random bits and stuff. And my nice, I uh, think it's the snap on flexible magnet. Uh, let's go the bottom. This is a uh, knockout set, hydraulic knockout set for uh, punching holes in sheet metal and stainless steel. Uh, that's the Astro Pneumatics uh, ball joint press kit. So you can take ball joints out when placed. You don't have to take the whole knuckle off. Sometimes it works. Uh, I believe this is a bearing separator. No, it's a slide hammer, sorry. This is the slide hammer puller set. And moving on to the side cabinet. Up here is the chargers. Uh, top over here, batteries. Uh, keep some of them stocked and charged. Uh, angle grinder, cordless sawzall. This is a right angle drill, um, really tight quarters, drum, or, uh, engraver, uh, corded heat gun, and batteries. And then the uh, the main rack here, we got, uh, this thing gets used every day, the 3 8 uh, stubby impact. 
got a drill, brushless drill, field drill, 3 inch ratchet, gets used a lot. This is the Earthquake Harbor Freight half inch impact, and then the Milwaukee half inch high torque. Um, back here, you got a cordless heat gun, two more drills. This is a uh, quarter inch impact. This is a uh, this was a quarter inch impact that I turned into a three eighths ratchet or three eighths impact. Just changed the anvil and the uh, the motor in it, so it's my other impact. It obviously still has the same power that the uh, quarter inch impact driver has. It's not as it's still not as powerful as the M12 impact wrench, but it's still kind of handy. This is kind of random stuff down here. Big hole saws, uh, quarter inch adapter sockets, big pipe caps for MPT if you're doing uh, line stuff, hose stuff, uh, spiral caps, helicoil stuff. Really don't want to deal with that stuff. Some more helicoils. Big uh, high speed drills up to like one inch. Random drills, glass cutters. Uh, there's some unit bits back here. Extension for the hole saw. Uh, these are bits for like a mag drill, but I you check them into the drill press every once in a while and they work. Uh, Milwaukee light. I have another one of these too. It's just a vehicle. This drawer, air tools, really don't get used all that often. Every once in a while, DA sander. Um, uh, air hammers, air impact, really does not get used. Uh, Air grinders, air hammer chisels, inflator, blower, a bunch of bits for the air hammer, and uh, random stuff like that. I don't use air all that much. I use a lot of hand tools and power tools every once in a while. Makes the job faster. Uh, the other side locker is mostly uh, just box stuff. So I don't have a lot of name brand test equipment just because this stuff works just good for me uh fuel injection tester works great i've had all this stuff for years it's never really given me a problem compression tester oil pressure tester vacuum uh pressure tester the brake bleeder kit uh this is one of those tools that i've bought and i've used one time uh timing alignment tool for the 2.5 3.2s and like the 4.2s for volkswagen and audi it's not a great tool, but it did its job. Uh, has one of those wrenches that has the pins in it that adjusts, so I've used it on some Ford fan clutches before, so it did come in handy. Uh, Matco cylinder leakage tester. It gets used quite a bit for engine stuff. We got a uh, harmonic balancer puller kit, one of the uh, other style ones. This one actually gets used more than the normal one these days. The newer vehicles. Uh, another puller kit similar to the uh, power steering one. This is a soldering gun, I believe. Uh, back there, the black box is a heat gun, industrial heat gun. We got a brake disc caliper set. This is the O2 pressure socket, or O2 oil pressure sockets, and then like injectors, uh, the inch and 16th, you know, the weird, uh, some crow's foot for 7 eighths and 22 millimeter for the oxygen sensors. Wire crimper, hydraulic ones up to like uh, 2 watt. Some big wire for battery cables. It gets used quite a bit for doing new wiring. Uh, diesel compression tester. It's more for like tractor diesels. I think, believe it does like 7.3s and some of the uh, 6.5 and 6.2s uh, Detroit diesels. It obviously doesn't do the, uh, the newer trucks. Uh, the 10 ton hydraulic press uh, gear puller, that thing's great. Uh, if you really need to get something off and it's stuck, that'll get it off. Uh, it usually breaks everything else, but it, it does come off. Bearing separator and the puller set with that, and then the cooling uh, test and refill kit. Uh, this drawer is empty, it's kind of busted on the side from shipping when I got it a while ago. It's, it's all right, it works. I used to have oil and grease in there, but I moved it over to the filing cabinet. But up top, we got some magnets and some speakers. and That's it for the main box. This box is the other person in the shops. Uh, the snap-on box, we used to share stuff, but it's its own box. But uh, that is my main toolbox here in the shop. But if you guys liked the video, let me know. 
you want to see the uh, a shop tour, also let me know. I'll give a tour of the shop. I've got some more tools laying all over the place in here, but uh, let me know. Thanks.